Hi guys, we're using two recycled glass jars to make these cute Halloween decorations. So let's get started. If you want to reach me outside of YouTube, you can also see me at Instagram and TikTok at Magic Truffle. All right, now let's get back to the video. So first, we're going to be needing these recycled jars. This one was mustard inside and this one used to be a candle. So they both passed the smell check. They're both clean and they're ready to go. So before we bulk it up with some foil, I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside white. I'm just using the Apple Barrel brand. So while the glass jars are drying up, I'm gonna go ahead and start bulking up the lids. So first, we're gonna need some polymer clay. I have some liquid Sculpey. Just put it on. I just use my fingers, it's just easier that way. Some clay. This one is going to be a candy corn, so I'm going to go ahead and bulk it up even more to create that triangle shape. So the jars are now painted. I triple coated these, so when you look at the inside, they're completely white and it just looks so much better. I'm going to go ahead and start bulking it up now. So for the pumpkin jar, I ended up only bulking up the back side and leaving the front side open just because this is where its mouth is going to be. A candy corn and a pumpkin. Now they are pretty much ready to get detailed. Now with my little mini spatula, I'm going to go ahead and go through the crease and just kind of like flood out the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with making the eyes. I actually have a tutorial on how to make eyeballs. I have some glow in the dark clay and some glass cabochons and I'm going to go ahead and paint the eyeballs, cap this on and bake it. I'm going to add a little bit of liquid Sculpey to smooth out the candy corn. So I have some orange clay here, I'm going to turn them into teeth. 
So I'm also gonna pre-bake these because it just makes it a lot easier to attach them on. So now that the eyes and the teeth are ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and paint the eyes black. I'm also painting the nose and the mouth as well and I'm gonna go ahead and attach the teeth right after this dries out. Just get it between the creases and then you can wipe off the excess. Now we can attach the teeth. So before I bake it, I'm going to go ahead and add one last touch to the pumpkin. Just going to add this little vine. So I went on ahead and gave them their base coat. I painted this one black just because I wanted the black to go up between the creases. And now we can start painting the pumpkin. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this golden paint on top of the stem. To complete the pumpkin, I'm going back into the creases, some watered down black paint and I'm just pretty much just outlining the creases again and then I should be done with this one. Now these guys are ready to get coated with some resin. I have some prepped over here. Let's start off with the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. 